third down, Griffin flushed out right. And this is going to be intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Chargers are going to get it back here just past the 35. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone. And that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. Here we go, Let's get to the Buffalo 18. To throw on second down is Locke. He's got Johnson. He's across midfield. And he will get out of bounds here as well. What a play. Big yardage, they stop the clock, and they move it to the boundary of field goal range as well. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Luck. That's caught by Johnson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I haven't heard much from him all night, but welcome to the party, making his presence felt in a big way. They've kept him under wraps all night long, but boy, did he find a great time to bust out. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Oh, my man, this is now where it's risk reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something, you crowd the line of scrimmage. If they do pop one, it's going to go. Yeah, as I said, can take it to the house with the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal. Every yard counts. Here's first and goal. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you got to throw the football for triple option, you've actually called that play. Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. What pressure as this thing all rests on the foot of Daniel Carlson. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Here's another kneel down as they'll try to set up the game winner. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And this whole crowd is in a frenzy as their guys have pulled it out of the end. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. Well, on one side of this, Charles, an impressive victory. On the other, I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first quarter, but then they didn't score in quarters two, three, or four. They're going to have a lot of work to do before stepping back on the field. Yeah, it'll be an interesting tape to 